Hello everybody, welcome back to the RK Method Fitness channel. My name is Rachel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe in the beginning, so don't forget. We're gonna do a 10 minute core series. This is a good one. We do five exercises, two times through. I'm feeling I have lips coming my mouth, on my teeth. Uh, two rounds, 50 seconds of work for each exercise with 10 seconds of rest. And everything is gonna be bilateral, so that means both sides are working. So we'll just stick with both sides until we go to that second round. So first up is diagonal plank reaches. You're gonna come down to the floor, elbows down. You're gonna step your right foot out to the edge of your mat with your left hand, back to the center, then switch sides. So opposite, reach out, kind of like you're making an X on one side. Now this one's a good challenge. Try to keep your hips lifted and core tight. So your rib cage is pulled in away from the floor. About halfway. Make sure you're breathing. Try to keep your chin off your chest. Okay, 10 seconds. Keep breathing. Squeeze that core a little bit harder. You got four, three, two, and drop down. All right, we're going into bare shoulder taps with feet taps on the outside of your mat. So meet in a tabletop, hands directly under the shoulders, knees directly under the hips, shoulder taps, you tap one shoulder with the opposite hand one at a time, then you tap your foot out to the side one at a time. Back to your shoulder taps to the opposite side. Step out, step out. Now make sure your knees are just hovering off the ground. So not up here, not all the way down to the floor just to hover, tap, foot, foot, go for halfway there. Really squeeze your lower abdomen, so all the muscles underneath your belly button, tend to relax that area. Yeah, eight seconds. Three, two, and one. Whew, on shoulders in that one too. All right, we're going dead bugs. Just like the name sounds, you're laying on your back. Hands right above the shoulders, legs in a tabletop. Your opposite arm goes back the opposite leg. Now I have a lot of people tell me that they have back issues or feeling back issues when they do their core. And that means you're arching your back. Try to think of tucking your tailbone slightly up off the ground. Then really bring your belly button to your spine. Your hand comes right overhead. Don't let your rib cage flare out. Oh, I haven't done dead bugs in a minute. These are good. We got about 10 seconds. Ooh, I'm shaking. Last three, two, and one. Bring it in. All right, now you're gonna flip it over. We got a high plank into outer knee dips. So you're gonna bring your body into a high plank, just means on the hands. You can go into more of a V. Bring your heels and your toes together. We dip it down to the side and lift. You can dip your knees to like the outer edge of that mat. Whew. If it's too intense, just come down halfway. More intensity, so you're gonna step it out a little bit further into that high plank. I actually like the V better. Nine seconds. Ooh. Hopefully you can't hear my knees cracking under the mic. Three, two, and one. All right, flip it on our backs one more time. We're gonna lift our butt off the ground with straight legs and then go into a butterfly crunch. So bring arms up overhead, lift your butt off the ground, bring it down at an angle, and go to that butterfly crunch, reaching for the toes. Try to keep the soles of your feet together as you go into that butterfly crunch. As so your soles touch, your knees go wide. When you're lifting your butt, 
Try to think of tucking, reaching your toes to the ceiling. When you come down, make sure your lower back is glued to the ground the whole time. Ooh. All right, I've got 10 seconds. Feel this one in my deep core. In your butterfly crunch, reach to your toes instead of bringing your toes to your hands. Last three, two, and one. All right. We got that circuit one more time. So we're going back to our diagonal plank reaches. Here we go in two, one, reach it out. Try to bring your toes and your fingertips out at the same time. Ooh, I'm sweating. It's a good one. You can take it for speed or take it slow. Just keep your chin off your chest. Really lengthen your fingertips away from your toes. Ooh. Pull that rib cage up and in. Try not to let it fall to the floor. <laughs> That's how you're gonna hurt your back. We don't need that. No, thank you. 15 seconds. Ooh, baby. Core is on fire. Oh my gosh, goodness. That's five, four, three, two. Oh man. Who wrote this routine? Wow. Just kidding, it was me. I wrote it, obviously. All right, bare shoulder taps into feet taps. Find that tabletop with your knees hovering. Tap one side, other side. One foot out, other foot out. Try to keep your hips from swaying side to side as you go through this one. You wanna think of balancing something on your back as you go through this shoulder tap into foot tap. You are gonna feel this one in your shoulders. Just be aware of that. If you got wrist injuries, you can take it down to the elbows. Just take it out the shoulder taps, just do the feet taps instead. Eight seconds. Last three, two, and one. Ooh. All right, dead bugs. Maybe your favorite, because you get to lay on your back. <laughs> Here we go. Opposite leg kicks out with the opposite arm. Pull your core in as strong as you can. Bring that hand right back up over your shoulder. Now notice how I just brought my knee in. Try not to do that. Keep your knee away from your hip. That's gonna work your lower core a little bit more. So if your knee is all the way in, you're not gonna do feel it much. Bring that knee away from your hip. Just extend that leg out, maybe at a diagonal. 20 seconds. <sighs> Breathe. It doesn't matter what fitness level you're at. You always get very humbled by a core workout. <laughs> Last two and one. All right, two more, two more, that's it. High plank to outer knee dips. Let's try this one on the elbows this time into a elbow plank, dip the knees down, and lift. If you got sensitive wrists, this will feel better for you. Really try to glue the knees, the ankles together, don't let the heels come apart. Try to think of bring your body all together as one. Your hips will drop at the same time. Whew. 20 seconds. We're almost there, keep it going. You got 10. Here we go, five seconds left. Give me two more reps. Three, two, and one. Oh baby. All right, last one. Leg lifts to butterfly crunch. Here we go. In three, two, one, lift the hips, come at the diagonal, butterfly crunch, reach for the toes. If you need to use a pad under your back here, go for it. You don't let your back come off the ground. Keep it glued. Ow. 
my pointy toes because I'm a gymnast or a gymnast. <laughs> it's just out of habit. Maybe if you're a dancer, you feel the same. I got 15 seconds. Ooh, try to drop those feet down a little bit more. Here we go, last eight. This is it. Finish it out. Five, four, three, two. All right. Ooh. That was a good one. Oh man, I'm already sweating. Boy, oh boy. Well, thank you for joining me today. That was our 10 minute core circuit without any equipment. Goes to show you all you need is a mat, or maybe some carpet, something that you can lay on. You can get a nice core workout in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all the support. This journey is really exciting. Starting out YouTube, it's been a couple years since I've thought of the idea to start one. Had to grow some confidence to do it. But I love having you guys here. Thank you for joining me. Hope to see you guys on the next one. I will be posting very soon. If you have any requests for workouts, exercises, videos that you want to see, comment down below. I would love to hear you guys' feedback. And see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.